Good morning, everyone. This is Someone Unexpected, presenting another episode of Tech Newsology. Let us begin. Assuming you all know what hydrogen is, scientists have long known of an isotope of hydrogen called deuterium, or heavy hydrogen, and have used it in various nuclear experiments. Whereas regular hydrogen consists of just one proton and one electron, deuterium is hydrogen with a neutron, and is comparatively less abundant than regular hydrogen. Recently, scientists at the University of Gothenburg have produced a material from deuterium that is 100,000 times denser than water. 100 cubic centimeters of this material would weigh 13 tons. That's equivalent to a small bunny rabbit weighing as much as two full-grown African elephants. This is because the distance between atoms in this unusual state of matter is much smaller than it is in normal matter, and has been creatively named ULTRA-DENSE DETERIUM Scientists speculate that ultra-dense deuterium could play an important role in the formation of stars. One potentially useful application for this material in the future is as a fuel for laser-driven nuclear fusion. Scientists have put decades of effort and billions of dollars into sustained nuclear fusion reactors with the prospect of creating cheap, sustainable energy. Ultra-dense deuterium could play an important role in opening up that possibility. So far, researchers have only managed to produce microscopic amounts of the material, though it may be possible to produce commercial quantities in the near future. Researchers in North Carolina have found that growing duckweed on wastewater from industrial hog farms could yield five to six times more starch per acre than corn. This means that ethanol production from duckweed starch could be faster and cheaper than from corn starch. Duckweed is a small angiosperm plant that grows on the surface of ponds and feeds upon phosphorus, nitrogen, and other nutrients it gets from water. Such nutrients are abundant in wastewater from hog farms. This is why when the nutrient-rich water from hog farms contaminates pristine lakes and the ocean, it creates massive algal blooms that kill fish and other aquatic species. Thus, two birds can be killed by one stone if we grow duckweed from this wastewater, so we can produce energy while cleaning up the environment. Physicists in Florida and Japan have recently proved the concept of a spin battery, a device that stores electrical energy in nanomagnets. Whereas traditional batteries use chemical reactions to generate electricity, Spin batteries rely on a layer of magnetic nanoparticles that release energy from the inversion of their magnetic orientation. To recharge, the nanoparticles are subjected to a strong magnetic field. Essentially, it produces electric current via the same mechanisms as in chemical batteries, but in a more direct way that doesn't involve chemicals. When the physicists tested a microscopic version of their battery, which they had created, they had anticipated that it would release a small voltage over a few milliseconds. They were surprised when they got a voltage over a hundred times greater than they expected that lasted ten minutes. Although this technology is still in its microstage, it can be scaled up to power everything we currently use chemical batteries for. Computers, cell phones, appliances, cars, and anything else that is electric. Thank you for viewing this presentation. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ultra Dense